Uh, the ADHD kid. Those ADHD kids can be a lot. They can be irritating to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis if you're not familiar with kids with ADHD. But you know what? We do grow up to be some pretty cool people. I am so sorry that your child has had to experience bullying from teachers, probably because they just don't understand people with ADHD. I won't say that I was ever bullied by teachers growing up, but I also won't say that I was anyone's favorite student. See, little Carrie was very disorganized, very forgetful, and had music playing in her head all day long. Team sports and standardized tests made me crumble under pressure as a kid. But you put a paintbrush in my hand, or a piano under my fingers, or any opportunity to be creative, and I excelled. But the problem is, most schools aren't looking for that. They're looking for a box that everyone should be able to fit into. So what happens when you don't fit inside the box? Well, a lot of times, actually, kids get identified as special ed because their behaviors are affecting their academics. That wasn't my case, but I've seen it happen. And in an effort to fit everyone inside of this box, sometimes we over-medicate because we're just trying not to rock the social boat. Now, there's nothing wrong with medication for ADHD, but there's a lot of times that kids' behaviors can be managed because they just need to learn how to do it on top of having the medication. It's not easy, but trust me when I tell you, your baby will be okay. Come back for part two, and I've got a great book for you.